uh, dear student today i'm going to take the topic of rs flip flop so uh, first uh, before entering into this flip flop so what is flip flop so the flip flop is a bistable uh, uh, state uh, bistable devices it has two state uh, one is a one the another one is a zero uh, so it consists of a two output uh, one output is a complement of the another output if the two input is zero or uh, if the two input is uh, uh, one uh, then we get the result as um, a deactivated state uh, if the two output is complement with each other then we get the final result as uh, set or a reset state or it's a active state okay so now i'm going to take the rs flip flop what is the meaning of rs flip flop rs means reset set state if r value is equal to 1 and s value is equal to 0 then it is called as a reset state if r value is equal to 0 and s value is equal to 1 then it, it is called as a uh, set state that means uh, r value is equal to 1 means it's a uh, reset state uh, s value is equal to 1 means set state okay uh, this is the structure of the rs flip flop so um, here s and r uh, so the rs flip flop is available if the here q and q bar is called as a the output of this two flip flop okay Out, output of this flip flop okay q is a complement of q bar that means uh, if the q value is equal to 1 the q bar is e 0 if the q value is equal to 0 q bar equal to 1 okay so the if the two output is a complement with each other um, uh, then only it will be activated otherwise it will be deactivated state okay so uh, the rs flip flop is used for the purpose of uh, designing the, the d flip flop and jk flip flop okay so uh, increased reliability and versatility in complex digital system due to restriction in handling specific input condition okay rs flip flop consists of a uh, so uh, it constructed using the nand gate or nor gate uh, so already we discussed about the uh, nand gate and nor gate uh, both are belongs to universal gate okay so um, that's why we use the rs flip flop uh, here uh, this is the rs flip flop uh, state if the uh, set state there are two states exist in this rs flip flop one is a set state the another one is a um, reset state a yes, set state mean s equal to one reset uh, state mean r equal to one uh, set state r equal to zero and uh, reset state s equal to zero okay when uh, r equal to zero and uh, when the both the input r r and s are equal either r equal to 0 and s equal to 0 and r equal to 1 s equal to 1 then it's a uh, both are in uh, deactivated state this is called as a deactivated state uh, the another one is a forbidden state okay it will not work so uh, this is a there are four uh, four nand gates exist these four nand gates are combined to form a one uh, flip flop uh, so this flip flop is called as a rs flip flop the second uh, here the this uh, q uh, the q output is connected to the uh, r input same as q bar output uh, q bar output is connected to the s yes. so uh, this is the one type of latch okay uh, then uh, this is the truth table of the rs flip flop uh, if the value uh, if the clock value is equal to 0 it will not work okay if the two input s yes and r are both are 0 means no change uh, here one both are one means undefined or forbidden state so here the s yes value is equal to 0 means um, r value is equal to 1 and then it is called as a reset state s value is equal to 1 r value is equal to 0 it is called as a uh, reset state okay the final output is equal to 0 and 1 then uh, rs flip flop both SR, uh, sr and rs flip flop are electronic device used for storing the binary information uh, almost both rs and sr flip flop are same functionality but differ in their 
input uh, so the input uh, both are different from one another okay the flip flop output changes depending on the input uh, with one triggering the set state one triggering the reset state and zero indicating the current state then uh, here uh, already we discussed the reset state then uh, i'm going to the uh, wa what is the um, applications used in the um, rs flip flop so it is used for the asynchronous counter uh, to make the asynchronous counter then uh, shift register uh, the rs flip flop can be used to build the shift register state machine debouncing circuit addressing deco address decoding clock synchronization these are the uh, applications of rs flip flop okay then uh, next rs flip flop is a uh, already uh, i told you uh, it store either zero or one information um, so that's why it's used the data register and memory cell require for the memory storage mm. then uh, uh, here uh, what is the limitation uh, in uh, rs flip flop consists of a race condition uh, uh, both the uh, I, both the inputs are the one the final output will be both are one then it will not work it, it is called as a forbidden state okay um, then uh, multi bit storage at the time of multi bit storage it's a very difficult okay uh, problem cause in clock synchronization when in the clock synchronization uh, occur at the time there will be a problem occurred okay so uh, dear student uh, see this video if you have any doubt please kindly give the question uh, in my comment section i will give the i will give the uh, or i will uh, give the correct explanation about your doubt thank you student